Welcome back to Beats Garage. Well, we're going to continue on with our 350 Chevy build, and we're going to install a set of Edelbrock E Street cylinder heads. On the left hand side of the engine here, where you put the dipstick shield, this is the one that came out of the uh, block when I bought it. And then when you put this in here, you can see that it goes, when you put it in, it goes below the surface. See how far that goes down? Now, if I use that, this thing would move up and down, it would rattle. Okay? This is just a shield that protects the, the dipstick from the counterweights on the crankshaft. You can take this, you can reflare this if you want to, or you can just put a new one in. And you see when you put a new one in here, if it's nice and flush with the surface here. That way, when you put the head on, and this is not going to flop back and forth, it sits there. If it's nice and flush, you just tap it down a little bit, and that sits there nice and flush. Now I can put the cylinder head on. The head gaskets are usually pretty symmetrical, but before you put your head gasket on, look for any mark somewhere on the gasket that might say this side up, sometimes an arrow that points to the front, or it will say left hand, right hand, but these are symmetrical, so it doesn't matter. So I can take this and just pop this in place. Okay, I like to turn the engine stand so that the cylinder head surface, or the deck surface, is kind of straight up and down. It makes it easier to put the head on, so you don't have to put it on at an angle. And I have one bolt in here, just so when I get this lined up, and I sit it on the dowels, drop it into place. I'll just put one bolt in here, just to hold it in place. Just like that. No, I can put the rest of the bolts in. Now installing the head bolts, a couple things here. I'm using these ARP fasteners, and you'll, you can see that on the inside of the bolt here, the bolt head, there is a fillet in there, and the washer has a nice uh, countersink in there. See that little chamfer inside the washer? You turn the washer over, you see it's flat. So it's flat on one side, and it has a chamfer on the other side. That's important, because that chamfer's got to face the bolt. So when you put that in, it sits nice and flat to the bolt. See that? If I put it on here the other way, it won't sit next to the bolt flat to the head. It's just not sitting flat because the chamfer is not in there. So that's number one. Number two, on a Chevy, some of these bolts that go in, some of the cylinder head bolts that go in, go into the water cavity or into where the coolant passages are. So you have to put uh, sealant on the threads of these bolts before you put them in. Let's take a quick look at the other side now, show you what I mean. Now here's a coolant passage and here's a head bolt hole and if I put a flashlight in there and shine in there you can see you can see the light into the coolant passage. So a lot of the bolt holes go into the coolant passage make sure you know which ones they are because you have to put sealant on those bolt threads. If you don't it'll leak through and you'll have a leak up into the cylinder head. Now when I say to Put some sealant on the thread. You can use silicone, uh, gasket maker, anything you want. I'm using the Permatex Right stuff. It comes in a caulk tube. And all you have to do is get it on the first couple threads. Just spin the bolt and get some on the first couple threads like that. Because uh, once you put it in the hole, it'll, it'll, it'll catch in all the threads. Like that. The torque sequence is starting in the middle, working out in a circular pattern, so it goes from here out in a pattern like this, further out. And starting with the first bolt, I always say follow the manufacturer's recommendation, and here's the ARP sheet that came with the bolts, and it says right there, torque in three equal steps to 70 foot-pounds. So, I'll start with 20. And again, I'm working in a, in a radial pattern from the center. <clears throat> I'll go up to 40 pounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oops. 
16, 17, and I'll last to 70. All down to 70. Now we just repeat the process for the other side. Gasket in place. Cylinder head with one bolt. Okay, rest of our bolts. Here's a torque pattern. I'm just going to snug these down real quick with my drill gun. Now three equal ste steps down to 70 foot-pounds. Okay, all done. So the cylinder heads are installed a little earlier in the build because I have to measure push rod length. It's not a standard cylinder head. I don't have standard rocker arms. It's a stud mounted rocker arm, adjustable rocker arm. I got roller hydraulic lifters, so we have to measure the push rod so I can get those ordered on the way so I can continue to build. But we'll do that in the next video. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.